Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be showing off a bunch of useful PC optimizations that you could use to get more FPS in Season 6. Ever since the new season started, I've been getting an insane amount of messages from you guys telling me to make an updated FPS boost guide. My frames personally have not been too bad, they did struggle in battle labs for some reason, but I know a lot of you guys are struggling to get good stable frames in all game modes. That's where I come in. Not only am I going to show off the best window settings for Fortnite, but I'm also going to walk you through an entire FPS boost pack from my boy Adam X. So make sure you guys pay attention, do not skip ahead unless you know what you're doing, even then don't do it. Without further ado though, let's get right on into it. To start off, let's look at your NVIDIA drivers. Your PC's graphic drivers are very important for getting stable FPS in Fortnite. They help optimize your PC settings both in-game and out of it, and they make your game run better depending on which driver you're on. From the time of the last Fortnite update, however, your graphics drivers have actually gotten more important. You see, anytime you load up your game without the latest NVIDIA driver, you would get a weird pop-up message in-game telling you you were not on the latest drivers and that you should update to the newest ones. Pretty weird, right? Now, you can obviously just not update update these, you could press OK and continue to play like normal. Since this video is all about optimizations though, I want to show you guys the best way to go about this, as well as the best driver for Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6. Alright, so I'm going to show two different ways to go about this. The first one is by updating your drivers. For that, you're going to need this bad boy down here, GeForce Experience. It's an application you get by default when you install your drivers. You should all have it. I just opened it up and what I'm going to do is go on the top to drivers, click on that. And under currently installed, you can see what version you have. I'm on the one that's two weeks old because I did not want to update it for this video. I left it for you boys. It is version 461.92, released on March 16th. And you can see above it, there's a new one, version 465.89, that was released two weeks after. Pretty straightforward, I'm just gonna download it. Wait for it to download. Five minutes later. From there, you're gonna have a little express installation button. I'm gonna click it. It's now gonna install, probably gonna stop this recording as well, feels bad man. But this is how you get the most up to date driver, it's the safest option. I'm usually on up to date drivers and they do me pretty well. You can see it did install, I'm now on the latest game ready GeForce driver and I will no longer get the annoying in game message I showed before, my drivers are completely up to date. Now what's interesting about all these drivers, if I go to the details of Fortnite, not only will it say what Nvidia thinks are the most optimal set settings, you can see all of them down here. It shows my current settings, then what it thinks are optimal. It really thinks post-processing on Epic is optimal. Bruh. But what you should also know is that the latest up-to-date driver is usually not the best. There's one that's better. What you're gonna do to get there is type in all NVIDIA drivers right into Google like I am. Click on the first link from NVIDIA.com. From here, just put in all the info on your system. So the driver for mine is gonna be a GeForce RTX 30 series. If you had a 10 series like I did, 1070 Ti, put in whatever and then search it up. There are so many different options. It goes all the way back to September of 2020. That is a really long time ago. Luckily for us, we don't have to go back any farther because the best NVIDIA driver for Fortnite, it is 457.51 released on December 2nd, 2020. You want to make sure it's the game ready driver. We just installed one before. Click on it. That's going to take us to this screen. We're going to download download it. Press download once more. I previously thought that you had to uninstall your graphics driver before this, but Nvidia will actually do it for you. I'm now going to open it. Click OK on the international package screen. Boom. We have the specific driver, version 457.51. That is the best for Fortnite. And all you're going to do is agree. Do the express installation. It will make your screen black for a second. That is it uninstalling the previous drivers you had. And now I am on the version from December. The best driver from Adam X. Pretty darn easy, pretty darn quick. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of comments saying, but Jarian, the game is now giving me the pop-up message telling me to update my drivers. All you need to do for that is press OK and it should go away after a few games. You can obviously do what I did and go to the most up-to-date drivers, but according to Adam X, all the god PC tweakers, they say use version 457.51. That is gonna get you the best FPS. I put that on baby. 
Moving on to the Atom X pack, you can either go and download the pack in the description, I'm gonna have a link down there, or you can go to his channel, go subscribe to it, I want my boy to get to 100k subscribers, and on his season 6 FPS boost video, he has a link to the pack, as well as a backup link in case the first one does not work. I'm gonna use that link, I'm then gonna download it. It is a zip file you can see down here, you're gonna need 7-zip or WinRAR for it, but you guys should have that by now, come on. The name of it is Fortnite Season 6 Atom X Optimization. I'm telling you guys, this dude tweaks for everyone. He's tweaked for like every big pro and they all have insane FPS because of him. These are where the real tweaks begin. You guys can see it kind of goes in number order. It starts at 0 and then goes up to 8. We're gonna do it in order. Let's begin with Restore Point. This is really, really important. Do not skip this step, please. Just click on the Restore Point. That's gonna bring up this page on your Windows screen. Essentially what this does is it lets you restore your system to a certain point in the past. Hence the name Restore Point. I'm gonna select my C drive because that's where I have Fortnite. That's where I have pretty much everything, including my operating system. I'm gonna click Create. I'll name it Before Atom X Tweaks. Press Create. Now it's creating the Restore Point. If anything goes wrong in this video, I'll show it at the end, but all you need to do is click on the Restore Point. Boom. Your PC will go back before any of the tweaks. By the way, if you want to configure it, just press the Configure button. This allows you to change the max usage, so I can go up to almost 900. Yeah, 930 gigabytes. You really do not need that big of a Restore Point. Apply that if you want to change it. Press OK. Again, please make a Restore Point. Back in the Atom X folder, we're going to go to the first tweak, the Settings Tweaks. Click on that. The first one is to disable full screen optimizations, as well as your game bar. Basically, these are registry tweaks. You can see the type is registration entries. This is basically going to do different settings changes for you. Like, in theory, you can go to your settings, you can go to gaming, Xbox game bar, and turn it off. This is the same as what Adam X's folder does. It just does it for you by simply clicking, pressing yes, pressing OK, and boom, it did all the settings I just showed before in one quick step. So that was for the game bar and disable FSO. There's one more step to disable full screen optimizations because it doesn't work with just the registration tweaks anymore. Before I show that though, I'm going to click on the prevent unnecessary apps from automatically starting. It's basically going to do what it says. Again, I'm going to click. There's a little sound. Registry editor, press OK. Look how fast that was. Those are the fastest settings changes and tweaks you will ever get in your life. Anyways, what I was saying about disabling FSO, this will allow you to play in what's called exclusive full screen mode. That is really, really good if you're on DX11 or performance mode. You're going to get way less input delay and it's really noticeable. DX12 unfortunately does not work with it because in order to use DX12, the game puts you on this weird like windowed full screen. I know it does not say windowed full screen in game, but that is the way DX12 works. That's also why your screen does not go black when you're playing on DX12 and you tab out. The more you know. Regardless, what we need to do if you're on DX11 or performance mode and you want to get this exclusive full screen is boot up Fortnite. Hey look, the graphics pop-up came up. I'll prove it works if you just press OK. Your game's gonna boot up normally. Amazing. We're not actually going to play Fortnite or even look at the Fortnite in-game settings. Simply go to your task manager. I'm gonna right click on my little start button, bring up task manager, and Fortnite should be at the top. If it's not, something's probably wrong with your PC. Seriously though, right click on Fortnite. Fortnite, go to open file location. From there, you're going to get another pop-up window. Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping. This should be selected, but if it is not for some reason, go and scroll down to it. Some of you, it might say .exe. This is technically the exe on my screen. Just make sure it says Fortnite client Windows 64 dash shipping. You're going to right click on that. Go to properties. I have like five windows open right now. I'm going to go to the top tab where it says compatibility. I'm then going to click change settings for all users. Hit disable full screen optimizations. You want this checked and before you press apply, hit change high DPI settings too. And at the bottom, click high DPI scaling override. Yes, we want to override our high DPI scaling behavior. Perform it by the application. Okay. Okay again. Okay once more. And now you should be good to go. That is going to let you play on exclusive full screen mode. Remember what I said, the best rendering mode for that is DirectX 11 or performance mode. The two of them use actual full screen 
screen. DX12 does not. So regardless of which one you use, you're going to get the lowest amount of input delay as long as you actually applied the settings tweak. Disable FSO and game bar. Yeah, yeah. After that, let's go to the second one. Number two are your power tweaks. First one is disable power throttling. Anything throttling related, you really do not want. That makes it so your PC is using less power without you really knowing. So we're going to want that off. I'm going to double click. Yes. Okay. The second tweak here is actually a command. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click on it, press rename, and then copy that. From there, you're going to hit Windows R on your keyboard. That's going to bring up this run box. I'm going to type in CMD in there. And while pressing Control and Shift, I'm going to press Enter. Boom. That brings up this administrator file window. For some reason, it says my user is Jeria. I'm not a girl. Since we copied that command though, I'm just going to paste it. All I had to do is press right click, but you can also do control V. This is going to disable hibernation, which causes a ton of FPS issues. And again, it does it all automatically. I believe we're on number three now. Oh wait, I'm actually going to skip input delay because this one is a little scary. I don't really want to cover it. If you want to go and look at those input delay tweaks, go watch Adam X's video. He basically makes you set up another restore point, And I know it can cause a lot of issues with people PCs. I want to do the more basic and safe settings, so I'm staying with the boring tweaks. That means we are on number four, GPU settings. Everyone who is not an NVIDIA user is really happy because Adam X put all the best settings for AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA. Starting with AMD, it's literally just three pictures. He shows you what you should be using for anti-aliasing, the anti-aliasing method. He even tells you when to click reset. What a good guy. Intel is going to be the same thing, so it's two different. You have the graphics command command center and then you have the control panel and then finally we have nvidia these are your managed 3d settings all you have to do to get the nvidia control panel is right click i want to make sure i do not skip over anything but like i said on the left under 3d settings you could see adjust image settings with preview click on that this is going to bring you to this page you have three different options here and you want to select use the advanced 3d image settings press take me there that's going to bring you to manage 3d settings that's literally the managed 3d settings here and these are the actual settings. So you can either look at them through the Atom X pack or you can look at them here. He essentially makes you turn everything off like ambient occlusion, anastropic filtering, anti-aliasing, everything is off. The only other one that is really important is I guess power management mode. This one you really want on prefer maximum performance. I talked about this in my new Nvidia settings video. This will give you really, really low input delay in Fortnite and it will actually let you use high textures, which I think is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, and unhide silk smoothness. This is basically gonna unhide one of those settings, so I'll press yes, okay. And then when I bring this back up, silk smoothness is now there. I never used that before, I'm not gonna lie. Adam said to put it on off. Nice, let me apply. And now I have the best GPU settings. Thank you so much! Folder numero 5 is the cleanup one. These are basically different batch scripts that Adam wrote. They're going to delete log files, delete your temporary files, anything you do not need. They're going to clean it up for you. So I'll show you. It's deleting everything I do not need. Nothing important because remember, it's all temporary or log files. Your PC does not use them and it will delete them later on, but this will do it automatically for you. I believe it just finished, so I'm going to press enter. I'm pretty sure Code Life made a whole video on doing this manually where you literally have to go into your Fortnite temp files. Holy, I did not realize I had that much 50 gigabytes. <laughs> Sheesh, that is way more than I thought. The third thing in here is the disk cleanup. I'll show what it does. Click it. Select the drive you want to clean up, our C drive. And you can see it has all these different options. You can just select what you don't want. It even tells you how much space you will gain. Now it's cleaning up my C drive. Feels good, man. That leads us to number six, startup apps. Again, this is a shortcut. Anything you have here that is enabled under the status, pretty much want to disable it, except if it's Fortnite. I have all of these disabled already. You really do not want any of them enabling automatically and taking up a bunch of processes in your task manager. So again, anything you want to disable, just right click, press disable. I'm going to leave Epic Games Launcher because we all love Fortnite. We like Fortnite. We like Fortnite. And yeah, that is pretty much all of that. Second to last, local app data. Again, this is a shortcut. You're going to click on it. It's going to bring you to your local app data folder. All you want to do here is right click on your Fortnite game folder. You could either rename this something else or you could just do what I do 
and delete it. That's going to clear your cache. It's going to delete all your replays. Make sure your game runs as fast as possible without anything it does not need. It's basically a fresh start. And to get back that folder, just click Fortnite, run it. That way, when you go back to the pack, hey, look, there it is. All I did was run Fortnite and it is back. It was created literally this minute. So no, it's not gone forever. Do not cry about it. That is how you do it, boys and girls. To finish off the Season 6 Adam X pack, we have a link to the adware cleaner. It's literally a direct download. I did not even have to go to the website. All I did was click the link. And when I open it up, it says my last scan was 110 days ago. That must have been my last FPS boost video. Let's see if I have any PUPs. Oh gosh. No items were detected. Let's go. If any were, you could run the basic repair. You could also go to quarantine and then remove it. I guess I had a PUP on December 11th. Wow, that's scary. And that is gonna finish up the Adam X pack. All he says to do at the end is just start your PC. I'm not gonna do that right now just because I wanna finish out the recording. And the way I'm gonna do that is again by showing how to fix anything that does not work. I can't spell. Go to create a restore point in the control panel. We already have one though. And what you're going to do is press system restore. It gives you a recommended restore. You could also do choose a different restore point down here. So I'll just select that one. And look, before Adam X tweaks the manual restore we had, all I would do is click on it, press next, press finish. That's going to bring me back. My PC will be perfectly fine the way it was before these tweaks. I really don't think you're going to need to use that because these were basic tweaks. I did not show the input delay or the MSI one. I mean, we covered everything. I don't think there's anything else to say. Drop a like. Overall guys, that is my FPS boost guide for chapter 2 season 6. So if you enjoyed the video or you learned something new, do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel somewhere down here, and to turn on my post notifications. Shout out to everyone on the screen for using code Jarian. I appreciate each and every one of you so so much. I think I'm going to make a part 2 of the guessing video I just did. You guys all absolutely loved it, so be on the lookout for that. Let me know if I should do it with Calc again or some other pro. I'm open to anyone. Otherwise, that's it for me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.